Hi guys, so I've tried to re-record um, sharing this baby like a million times. <laughs> um, I think my the angle of my camera is weird. Like, I don't know, I have so much stuff in this bed. I had a, another box opening right before this one um and i'll probably share it later but yeah it's it's like i don't know um like it's hard to really show what this baby actually looks like um the way that I'm actually like having the angle of the camera, which is kind of weird. Let's see. I'm go like this, maybe. Slide you up a little bit. There we go. Um, there we go. So let's see. I usually do this stuff before start recording but y'all know me i just do everything in the moment nothing to hide here um so this is georgiana um and so she is <laughs> she's sculpted by uh i want to say I keep want to call call her last name Biscuit, but I know it's not Biscuit. <laughs> Y'all don't don't listen. Don't don't come for me. I don't even I put oh I put her COA up. Anyway, maybe I'll have the other I'll I'll tag it in there somehow. But um Silicon Studios is um their like a uh, business name so to speak but this one is is one that is poured to order um so yeah so anyway um i did go with an armature in the arms the legs does not so we got flop flop so i just wanted to share that these are the feet um i was concerned that the feet were like I don't know, in some photos, the feet look like they were really fat. They are, you know, they are thick, but they're not, like, bulky fat, like, if that makes sense. So, and they are not super long, but I think she's going to fit at least, you got a piece of glitter on you? Anyway, I got to wash it. Off anyway but I think shoe size would be like a one still a, a size one um maybe well I think a two would be too long but definitely a one but nothing really narrow because like I said it is kind of somewhat of a thicker foot or fat foot not fat fat but um Big toes are separated on both feet and the rest of the toes are together. Hmm. Um so this the hands are, oh, sorry, the hands are good size. They are um, like little thicker fingers, I would say, I don't know, but not like extremely bulky or anything. Um, yeah, so all separate fingers, open hands, which is nice. Again, I did go with the armature so that I can 
um, and it, it doesn't go down in the wrist so it allows the hand part to kind of flop but it is I don't know I think they go all the way up to the shoulder so it is a full armature um, they 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 move pretty decent um, actually I, I I just prefer armatures this one I, I get a little worried about it in the wrist part but yeah but you you know I don't move my armatures a whole lot um, in my babies they kind of stay in a similar position a lot so it works beautiful head shape Show you how the head shape. Um, head turns really nice from side to side. This is, this is nice. Um, nice. Uh, huh. I'm sorry, my hat flipped. Uh, nice uh eyelids cute little nose of course you guys know i love the little kissy lips and the mouth is open really deep um she has a little tongue in there she can take a uh, full passy really nicely which is nice and she actually looks cute with a pacifier so that's another plus because I don't know, like lately, my silicone babies that I have had just don't look good with pacifiers. Um, ears are nice. Um, so they have nice ears. It's pretty nice. The proportions are great. Um, she is a good size, but bigger than like uh not a tiny newborn but not a you know really huge newborn so she is i don't know i think it, i'll have to put it on the scale because they said she was i think somewhere i seen where it said it, she was nine pounds but she doesn't feel nine pounds she feels less than that um she feels very light the color of the pore which is the most important thing to me um hands down this is the best color pour um, for me. I, I absolutely love this color pour. And I absolutely love the smoothness of it. Um, again, the silicone pour. This, this is actually, um, to be honest, this is my next favorite um, silicone pour next to my, like, Claire Taylor and Lily and Breville uh, uh, blank kits because of the uh, the color it's she's really soft and she's super smooth but she doesn't have like all these extra t colors in her like all these pinky tones or gray tones or all that stuff the color is very neutral which allows me to take the color anywhere I want it to go um, her girl bits are realistic. Definitely a plus nowadays. Seem like no one. And as you can see, like, she's, she's so, you know, like, posable. Like, she can, her legs were almost closed, laying, yeah, they were closed, laying down, downward. So it's like, there's a lot of potential for posing you guys know how much I love that she does have a cute bum bum um I will say this and it's not a takeaway from me um I love the I love the actual toes and all that stuff the bottom of the feet doesn't have much detail as far as like it's not like a super indent or anything like that it's like um but um that's not anything major for me because sometimes with silicone if they put too much creasing and dents in it and all that it just it makes the painting a little bit more 
challenging. So, yeah, I think I'll have fun painting the feet, though. Um, Sometimes when, when a kit, like, doesn't have, like, a lot of, like, lines and creases and stuff like that, it allows you to really, like, paint the details in, I guess. So, she does have a cute bum bum. Of course, I'm not going to show that right here. I think I might have showed it in another clip. I'm going to just, like, piece all these clips together. Like, this is, like, hours later or almost, like, the day, the next day after I got her. When you're seeing this video part. Because I was so excited about her, I needed to calm down and see if I still feel the same way, and I do. <laughs> oh, and I do. So, yeah, so the little thighs are just fat enough for to just give that real baby look. It's, it's, she's definitely giving all that she's supposed to give. Let's see. Yeah. So, I don't know. Like I said, it, you know, for me, I'm exploring. I'm I'm looking to see what's what's else out there. I am not gonna be like limited to 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 one sculptor or anything like that. I am. I am exploring, and I will tell you I, something I, I didn't stuck to to it, but anyway, there it is. It's all. Um, I will tell you that. Um, wait, hold on. Let me see. Was that like a little? Oh no, actually, that's a little. I don't know something. I'll, it'll, it'll fix when I when I paint. That was not that was something within the silicone. It's like a little. I don't know what you call it, but it's nothing major. It will fix during the process of painting. Um. But yeah, I so yeah, I'm not I'm I. I honestly don't have like one, I'm not going to just stop at one, one, one sculpt, one kit, one artist. I am exploring now. I'm, I'm in a, definitely in an exploring phase looking for what I like to paint most. But right now I'm really, like I said, I'm really enjoying this silicone pour. Yeah, but it's it's really really uh it's a really nice pour. So I'm a I'm gonna see where where my creativity goes with her. Um, as I probably mentioned in the other videos before, I'm like I don't I don't know this one may be a personal. <laughs> I know y'all like girl, you never want to sell nothing, but I've pretty much. Um, I have to, I had to make a choice. I knew I was going to have to make a choice between who, who I keep and who I don't keep. So we will see. I'm going to just say for right now, we'll see where, where she goes. Um, I'm expecting a few others. And so, um, but right now, so it's like, first it was Oakland that I was going to keep. Then it was hands. That you guys haven't met hands yet, but y'all will. And then it went to from hands to um it went from hands to now it's like Oakland and Hands might leave and I'll be keeping her. I, I had decided that she would be one that I would paint to sell before I even got her, even though I I loved her. I just wanted to I just wanted to paint this kit. I love this mouth and I wanted to paint this mouth. I wanted to paint this face. Um that's that's what what got me. I wanted to paint this face. And but then I kept looking at photos and I was like this 
this baby looked like it, it might be like too big, too bulky. Um, but she's actually da more dainty than bulky. So she's not bulky at all. So it's, it's, you know, and it's crazy because like I said, on camera, things seem, seem to look, you know, kind of different than actually in person. There's a lot of things about her that I thought that's different um so yes yeah, quite interesting um and so i'm gonna go get her washed up and you guys won't see her blanket anymore it's just she's the first baby that i actually um not the first baby i've it was another one a couple of them i wanted to play with but she's the first baby that i actually did put a pamper on i did actually hold in my arms to see what it feels like and um so, I don't know. I really. And, you know, working with different people. And I when I say working with, you're not really, like, working, working with them. It's like a short business process, like, when you're purchasing and stuff like that. But I really have had really great customer service with the uh, people that I've bought from recently. Um, which have, have been good, you know, cause when you, when you're new to, to dealing with, you know, different people, different, uh, sculptors and stuff like that, artists, and you don't know what to expect. And it's kind of scary because, you know, you hear all these horror stories and, you know, you just, you, you're spending a lot of money and you don't want to, you know, make bad choices. So, you know, I'm always a little reluctant to buy something new, but I'll be honest, I I really haven't, um, so far it's been really good. So, and like I said in the other, some of my other clips, I actually, I was worried about, I don't know, like I saw, I saw a picture of this scope on somebody's page, I think, and the way that they show like the neck and the head, it looked like it just didn't turn. I guess because I, it, it's not a lot of neck there. It looked like it was going to be kind of like stable, stuck in one position, but it's not, it's, it's very flexible. So I'm, I'm really, really, really happy about that because, um, some of my previous babies, they had turned, but not not as fluid as the ones I've been getting lately. So that's that's good. Um, the only other sculpts that I've had that turns really that had turned really really good in the past was, of course, my Claritella uh, babies. They their heads always turn really good from side to side. But sometimes, and that's a big to do for me. That's one of the biggest things for me with silicone is I, I need the neck to turn and the softness. I like soft silicone. I do. I, you know, I, I don't. I don't care what other people say about it. I listen. I prefer it. Um, and I like armatures a lot of times. So hopefully people get more comfortable with armatures and start doing even softer armatures and stuff like that. But so I'm, I'm always a little leery about the armatures too. Um, but sometimes I just feel like I just got to have them. I think this kit would have actually been okay without them because the, the way the position of the arms, I think you would have been able to still bend them. But I like for my babies to be able to hold their pose. So, I I am glad I went with the armatures, but I think I think they would have held up just kind of fine, being that the silicone is soft and there's yeah and and when you don't have armatures it's like f more floppy even if you really like the flop flop. I just love that she takes pass pipe so good. I'm gonna put a pass pipe and I love her mouth, but I just I love the pass pipe. This kid also makes a great boy. Like, if I wasn't anticipating 
some new sculpts, I would actually go back and order a boy. That's that's just how strongly I feel about painting it. So we're going to see how I hope it goes well, guys. Wish me luck. All right. We'll see you later.